In uncertain times, we often have little choice but to improvise. Throughout 2020, composer Dale Cornelius sat at his piano, reacting to the pandemic unfolding around him and filming his improvisations. I started filming stories of people who'd caught COVID-19. I felt like I was drowning. The breath becomes labored, the chest tightening. It was a real struggle. It was horrible. Today is day 66 and I'm still testing positive. I'm still in isolation. I woke up again today with quite severe chest pain and pressure. Just uh, really just want it to end. I'm a documentary filmmaker with a passion for science. So I also reached out to Professor Peter Doherty. He won a Nobel Prize for discovering how our immune systems destroy deadly viruses. You may recall he caused quite a stir on Twitter early in the pandemic. You lit up the internet a few weeks ago when you thought that you were Googling Dan Murphy's opening hours and instead you tweeted it out. My wife told me you've just made a total fool of yourself, as wives do. And as a consequence of that, I don't know whether this is a good thing or bad, but I have 16,000 more Twitter followers. He's an extraordinary man. Incredible intellect. Absolutely not an ounce of arrogance. I was invited to join the Doherty Institute weekly meetings with some of Australia's top scientists. Moved, of course, to Zoom. As you know, Sonia is recording it. Uh, it's just a way of uh, documenting how we're thinking. And Peter agreed to do regular catch-ups online. Hi, uh, there you are. Oops, gone. Maybe my camera's off. He even roped in his wife, Penny. My, my wife just came in. I might just get her to come and say hello to you. Yes, that'd be lovely. So Sonia's doing a documentary and she's talking about using my story, our story, is part of that. Okay, so... What's our story? Well, and I would have done nothing. I would have been a total dropkick, probably living out of a shopping trolley <laughs> if it hadn't been for you. And we both know that. <laughs> it was a unique opportunity to go behind the scenes of Australia's scientific response to COVID-19. From the researchers racing to understand this killer disease, to those working tirelessly to build a vaccine. We want it to work. We're desperate for it to work. To our success in crushing the spread of the virus. Australia's COVID story is unlike any in the world. Of course, I'd no idea that my hometown of Melbourne would head into 111 days of lockdown or that I'd end up appearing in my own film. Like everyone, I'm improvising and trying to make sense of it all.